almost done. I've been at it for two days and about 11 hours. So hopefully today around lunchtime we'll see the good result. Johnny Five's head details all in one big piece. Three hundred and forty-six minutes later. It is almost done. It's about seven inches wide. Probably about six inches deep. Makes you realize how big Johnny Five's head is, because that's just the square panel on the top that has the detail. A monumental print job. And it looks like I beat the thunderstorms that are coming later. And I'm not going to have to worry about power going out. So, pretty amazing. Two days, 15 hours, and 35 minutes. Not bad, Ender 3. It has a lot of supports underneath it. I use tree supports. They look kind of trippy, but they work really well, so... Curious to peel it off and see how it looks under there. I'm going to let it cool off a little more completely first just to make sure after all that time take my time getting it extracted from the supports and here it is removed from the supports it's pretty cool it's all one big piece there's one little part one of these op amps here, I think. It's one like that. It's it goes right back here. And it'll have to be glued on to the other frame piece. Overall, I'll have to do a little sanding on it, smooth some things out before I paint it and prime it and paint it. Um it's a little bit string tastic underneath but nothing that can't be cleaned up. Sand it out a little bit. I'll paint it all black underneath. So the multi-frequency remote control comes out of this opening. This long, narrow opening here is where the, the uh, shotgun microphone would pop out of Johnny's head. And the rest of it's all just decoration. It's a bunch of old school components and everyday parts that are uh, some of them are still used. These are Anderson connectors. We still use those a lot. Here's a big heat sink. There's some playback heads for tape decks. These are uh, I think these look like some kind of old school transistors or voltage regulators. These are some kind of op amps. These are some kind of ICs. Uh, pretty cool use of stuff that was actually even old school in the 80s when this was designed. And now it made Johnny Five look high tech. And now in 2023 it, it makes him look charming and you know kind of kind of uh, old school practical effects building techniques of just putting we call them nernies the little decorative bits that are just to make it look detailed and cool on camera so I'll paint them all the right colors and It'll be nice to have that all done in one piece, and I'll do the other um, outer coverings on the upper body and the lower boom part 
um, I'll do them all the same way, print, print big pieces like this. So there you go, pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it.